Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to manually create checkout links on your Shopify store. And this is where you can click a link or you can utilize this for your marketing campaigns as well. And essentially, when you go to that link, it will take the customer directly to the checkout. For example, here I have a link, one of those checkout links already added to the Shopify store just on a button. When you go to click it, it does take you directly to the checkout page without having to go to the add to cart page. So this is a dynamic link that you can link to your customers to take them right to the checkout for any type of product that you have on your Shopify store. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step -step how to do in this tutorial video here today. And before we dive into things, of course, I do wanna mention if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So first things first, you're going to want to make sure that you're, of course, logged in to your Shopify store. Now, in order to do this, this is completely free. You do need to download the Buy Button Channel app by Shopify. Now, you can search for this here, Buy Button, and you can go to it uh, this way or or alternatively, I will also leave a link in the video description that will take you right over to the Shopify app store to the buy button channel. Now this app is developed directly by Shopify and it is available completely for free on the Shopify app store. So you don't need to pay for anything, it's completely free and it is developed directly from Shopify themselves so you can trust it. And this is the buy button channel. Essentially, this gives you that additional functionality to create those checkout links and I'll be showing you how to do it as well. Now, I have already installed this app on this Shopify store, but essentially, if you go here to this page and you have not already installed it, it will show the same black button, but instead of open, it will say install. All you have to do is click this big black button and it will take you right into your Shopify store and add the buy button channel. You need to do this first step in order to create these checkout links for your Shopify store. So once you've done that, you know, you could either click this button open or you can just go back to your Shopify store once it has been installed. So go ahead and make sure you do that. Again, link will be in the video description to the buy button channel for your Shopify store. Next, what you're going to do is come over here to the left-hand side under products. And of course you will actually need a product to create that checkout link for, uh, for it to work, of course. So you could just select any product. Now I'll be showing you how it looks different depending on if you have just a single product or if you do have variants because it's a little bit different um, but let's just say for the beanie in this case for the example you click on the beanie this is one of the products and then what you do to get your checkout link is you just come up to the right top right hand corner here under more actions you're going to click the drop down for more actions and then what you're going to do is go down until you see create checkout link as you can see with the little uh, button click you're going to click that create checkout link this will then create the dynamic dynamic checkout link that can be linked to from email campaigns. It could be linked to uh, from your store directly, but it will take your customer directly to the checkout page without having to go to a cart or go through any of that process. It just takes them right to the checkout. And this is a dynamic link. Again, like I said, you can link and use it anywhere that you want. Um, and all you have to do is, as it is already selected, because this product just has a single variant, uh, in this case, it's already selected, select the variant, just default. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and then you, all you have to do is click copy link and this will copy it to your clipboard. Now, what you can do if we go back here to a regular part of the Shopify store, let's just say um, we even just go to the homepage here. Um, you know, anywhere that you would paste this link, say, for example, you just wanted to even just paste it in your uh, URL. If you just paste it in the URL and hit enter, uh, it will take the customer directly to this beanie. So you can either send that URL maybe in a support chat as well. If you just want to link someone right to the cart, you could do that there. Um, and it, as you can see here, it has added the beanie right to the cart just from that link that we copied to the clipboard. As you can see here, this link will send shoppers directly to the products checkout page. Now this will vary. And also I would Probably well, you can do this if you would like to is to pin it to your navigation so it's easy to get back to the buy button channel um, uh, essentially but what you will want to do next if you do have variants you come over to products so now we're going to do one for variants and I'll be showing you what it looks like as well if you do want to create a link from your Shopify store say somewhere on the home page I'll show you that a little bit later in a second um, how to go ahead and add that like 
automatic button that takes them right to the cart uh, from you know from your home page if you wanted to add some sort of button like that like I showed you earlier uh, but if you have multiple variants on your product the way that you need to go about doing this is very similar um, but it is slightly different so if we're going to go in here let's just say the cat brush because there's six variants here we click on the cat brush we go back to more actions and we go to create checkout link now this will then give us the option for the checkout link and as you can see you can select which variant uh, you want this link to be so you you have to link to a single variant with these checkout links and it's just going to link to that specific product in the way that this works it's just sharing the link for a single product and within that single product even down to the single variant so if you want to link someone to the dark blue one you would select that one there if you wanted to do the green one you would click this uh, checkbox there. If you wanted to do the pink, uh, you would go there. You know, same for gray, uh, same for yellow. So let's just, let's go with yellow, copy the link, come back here. We're gonna go ahead and paste that in. And as you can see, it does take us right to the cat brush in yellow. So it is that specific colorway um, for that product. So you do need to select the variant. Um, that you are going to be linking to. And just to give you another example, even if you have multiple different uh, variations of a product, in this case with like the gold watch, I know there's multiple uh, types within that here. We're just gonna go back there. We come up here to more actions. We select create checkout link. Uh, if there's even more variations and variants within a single product, as you can see, you can select small, medium, large, and even down to the specific color. So if you have black, blue, red, or small, medium, large, you can really get down to the specifics across all different variants that you would have for these checkout links. Now, if you wanted to, uh, say for example, link this from your Shopify store somewhere, all you would need to do, let's just go with the small black one, go ahead and copy that link to the clipboard. All you would need to do is go to your online store. And this is primarily if you're gonna be adding this like to the homepage somewhere, uh, you go to online store and under themes, you scroll down a little bit. Now, currently I am using the Dawn theme. This would work on really any theme. This is not even limited to just the newest themes, this could work on older themes as well, pretty much any theme. Uh, you're just adding a link to a button, so this should essentially work on anything, not really any kind of limitations there. You go ahead and click Customize, and this will bring you into the theme editor. And once you're inside the theme editor, you can come down here. Let's just go ahead and add like a new, uh, a new section here. We're gonna go ahead and click Add Section. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is, let's go with Image with Text. And as you can see here, uh, you have a product image. So you can go in here and go ahead and type, you know, whatever you would like under image with text. So if we have the heading, um, you know, we have the description and then we have the button. So what you would do if you wanted to add that checkout link right from your homepage to take customers right to the checkout for a specific product variant, all you would need to do is, again, we already have it copied to the clipboard. All you have to do is click here on paste a link or search. You're gonna go ahead and click control V. That will paste it. And then you do need to click this here for it to actually work. You need to click this little um, button there. And then once it is highlighted, um, you could also switch the button style if you want to outline or filled in. Uh, and then this will be the button. So we're going to go ahead and we, you could label this as sort of like a buy now button or something like that. Um, I know that's uh, what, what I did before. Buy now, click here, something like that. Uh, and then you go ahead and click save. We go back to the home page. And now if you go to this button here, as you can see, this will link directly to the cart for that specific variant and product. You click it and it will take them right to the checkout page, skipping the cart right to the checkout. Uh, and it will be that specific variant that you have linked to, you know, the small black uh, 18 karat gold Rolex watch. So again, pretty easy step-by-step -step process as far as creating these checkout links. You can do it as much as you want uh, in your Shopify store. All you gotta do is go to your products and go to that little drop down under the more actions and you can easily create these checkout links uh, for your products on your Shopify store. Again, this is great for email marketing campaigns like I showed you here. Um, this could be good for 
you know, linking from your homepage. If you just want to take people right to the checkout page for a certain product, I would recommend probably labeling it or adding like the actual product here somewhere to make it more obvious. Uh, this could work good for like landing pages and things like that. You really can get creative with how you want to utilize these checkout links. You could use it for customer support, just sending it in emails or text message to people directly like, oh, hey, this is the product you're talking about or something like that. So there's a lot of different uses in this uh, scenario. If you just want to link right to the checkout uh, can be a really nice hack for your Shopify store. So again, guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. I'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. If you guys found this tutorial helpful on how to create these custom checkout links really quick and easy, go ahead and smash that like button, hit subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.